Hello again everyone and welcome back to Dragon Age Inquisition. We have returned here in Skyhold and as always we are going to go through the usual routine of making sure our advisors are uh, actually doing things, getting some operations done. Um, so let's see, we, everyone must have done something. Trouble in Skyhold, ah finally we've got this cipher decoded. Two points. One, that book is abysmal and the entire code-breaking department wants to ritually set it on fire. <laughs> the two, the message is double encrypted. The message in the, in the mistakes is in a Merchant's Guild cipher. We have not yet broken the guild's code. Scrivener. So we've got Revenge of the Merchant's Guild and Sigil of the Greater Mistral. Okay, Revenge of the Merchant's Guild. An unsent letter from Varric Wits in the war room addressed to Jarek Day, Stenry Merchant's Guild. Jarek, I need a key to the Merchant's Guild cipher from what from one month ago, and you still have payments left on the loan house Tethras give you for your rescue mission to Amgarak. So I think we can make a deal. I get the cipher, and your debt disappears like financial magic. And Nightingale, since I know you'll open this and read it before it gets sent, don't bother to keep a copy. The Guild changes their codes every month because dwarves are naturally paranoid. Send the letter to Denerim. Getting this cipher will help Liliana find the killer. Do it. Let us begin. Happy days. Have we got anything else in this, in the Ferelden area which we didn't do? I don't think we have. I think it's all in all there now. So what do the other two guys do? Um, reconciliation for Celine and Michelle. Yep, Celine will conduct, conduct her business with Michelle through Colomb, who will act as a go-between. I've informed the guards that she's an expected guest. Michelle's mood, predictably, has improved. A happy ending for once, Cullen. Nice. Everyone likes a happy ending. Liliana, it's been a pleasure, Zevran. Superb amulet of evasion. We we got Zevran out scot-free. Isn't that fantastic? Right. So Rainier's release an alternative. We need to look at that, don't we? Um, Liliana informs me that your contacts in the underworld could aid in having Rainier released from prison. This route would conveniently mask the Inquisition's involvement. An offer whispered in the right circles. A dozen factions vying for our favour. We'll see who desires it most. Yep. Inquisitor. We'll go for that. That works for me. Um, let's see. What what else have we got to do? Got a few. Aid those impacted by the Civil War. The Imperial Army will aid the Inquisition's forces against Corypheus, but it must also address lingering issues at home. Weaknesses in the Vale, no doubt heightened due to the rifts, have resulted in demons on the road between Valfor and Monsimard. This would demand a call to action at the best of times. Unfortunately, the increased number of travels on the roads, merchants attempting to restore trade and displace civilians returning home after the war, has made the situation worse. The head of the Imperial Army has requested assistance from the Inquisition subduing this threat. A chance to solidify our alliance and prove ourselves their equal. A joint venture will also increase our understanding of Imperial Army structure and tactics. Um, yeah, that's fine. That, to work. That works to me. Okay, that's so that's everyone busy. Um, we probably just just need to wait now for Liliana to get done, and then we can. Uh, And then we can go and uh, <coughs> get um, Rainier released, and we can judge him. So the wearer of this amulet has a large chance, a large chance of dodging incoming attacks. Now that is quite good. Uh, so death siphon for Cassandra Dorian. He's got plus ten willpower. I think I might wear that. Stamina amulet. What's Varric got on, actually? Because Varric, Varric probably dies the most. Yeah, you you can wear the amulet of evasion, Varric. And yeah, so I think we just need to wait for wait for Liliana to be done because it was a very short operation. It was like two minutes. Wait, can I talk to someone through this wall? Did I did I see that correctly? I swear, I swear, I saw a speech bubble, a speech bubble pop up. Who the hell's behind this wall? Am I seeing? Oh, it's Kim. Oh, he's okay. I, I, I know where Kim is. He's he's in the hall for some reason. It would, for some reason you can highlight him through a wall. It's a very unique ability if I've ever seen one. Josephine, got anything to say? A pleasure. Anything to report? What do the people make of us? There's scarcely a noble house that hasn't openly pledged its support to us. Excellent. Let's speak later. Farewell. Most good. 
seriously though, we, we we need to get that operation done. So I'm 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 kind of stalling for time. There we go. It's done. <laughs> so we'll get we'll get that called in, and we'll send Liliana out again to do something else. Right. So we have range release an alternative. Rainy was brought to the, to the Skyhold Gate under cover of darkness. Best not to ask how, Liliana. Well, as long as nobody knows it was us, that's fine. So, truth or dare, the end game. Ambassador Montillier, we have never have met. Whoa! Jesus Christ! Josephine, not so loud. And Draste preserve me. Feel free to use those requests as kindling. <laughs> no, I shall take them. I want to know who pines for our commander. We can use this to our advantage. I am not bait. <laughs> <laughs> Just look pretty. Yeah, Colin was a very popular man at that, at that ball, wasn't he? Right. Ambassador Montelia, we have never met, but I believe you have. What? Through discreet means... Oh, I believe you have, through discreet means, saved me from a most disagreeable connection. As I dislike being indebted to anyone, I shall endeavour to repay you with a news item of some interest. Were you aware that the Grand Duchess of Lydes recently paid a visit to Lake Celestine? Indeed, she stayed an entire fortnight as a guest of Duke Alvin Blanchard of Valmontagna. In light of her other connections and the curious amount of coin which spread across the region in the aftermath, you may wish to pay him a call. Send our agents in, we can expose his connection to Florian for all the world to see. Hmm. Oh, we can do it. If, if Duke Blanchard was, was conspiring with Florian, the Imperial Court would like to know. Or, yeah. Well, we will get Liliana. And, uh, yeah, if 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 there's anyone who's been conspir conspiring with Florian against the Empress, then definitely people should know about it. Right, so it's time to judge Blackwall slash Tom Rainier after all this time. Let's, let's go and see what we can do with him. It's going to be a tough call, this one, I think. For judgment this day, Inquisitor, I must present Captain Tom Rainier, formerly known to us as Warden Blackwall. His crimes... Well, you are aware of his crimes. The decision of what to do with him is yours. Hmm. I hate to see you like this, yeah. I didn't think this would be easy, but it's harder than I thought. Another thing to regret. Using your ties to the underworld to free me. You're a criminal, same as me. The world will learn how you've used your influence. They'll know the Inquisition is corrupt. Are you, are you threatening me? I, I, I wouldn't threaten me in this situation. This will be forgotten. Once the world is back to normal, no one will even remember this. I'll remember. I accepted my punishment. I was ready for all this to end. Why would you stop it? What becomes of me now? So I can keep Blackwall in servitude, give Rainy to the Wardens once this is over, free him to make amends for his crimes. Yeah, I'll, I'll give him to the Wardens once this is over. I think, con con considering he did assume the role of a, of a warden and masqueraded him as through all this time. Again, he, he... What he did was atrocious, but I don't think he meant it to be it meant it to be as atrocious as it was. And... He has tried to atone for it since then, so he's not heartless. The wardens will decide. Blackwall intended you join the wardens. I will let them decide your fate. But only when Corypheus is dead. For now, Tom Rainier, the Inquisition needs you. As you command. This is the chance to atone, yep. Blackwall gave you the chance to atone through action, not merely punishment. I find I can do no less. I am grateful for this, Inquisitor. And I will serve for as long as I can. Thank you, Tom. 
That was certainly a twist, wasn't it? I've, would never have guessed that 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 he had just assumed an identity like that. But that's that. I guess we can go and talk to him again now. I mean, I'm assuming he's he's in the area now, is he? I'm assuming he's just gonna. The consequences of Blackwall's lie operation available. Hoo -hoo. Okay, so he, he's he's still known as Blackwall as well on the map and pie screen and whatnot. Oh well. Oh my dear, fellow, we we always Thank stood you there. Thank for saving my life and giving us a chance to help. I'm mostly studying now, but Hellisma can talk to you. Nice. Alright, let's go and have another chat with Blackwall, see if he has anything else to say after that development as we wander through the still dying corpses in the courtyard. Farris, were you always here? Inquisitor, you have come to the attention of the powerful, and I am the response. Monsieur Faris at your service. You will find my wares unique. I sell influence. Huh. Yeah, I thought this was right. Yeah, I thought I thought this was the um, influence thing, but I, I never noticed there was actually a guy stood there. Blackwall. Let's talk about Is there wardens. You actually know about the wardens, or did you make it all up? I made very little up. I also feared you knew enough to contradict me. Warden Blackwall told me a bit before my initiation, but it is a secretive order. Not even the most senior wardens know all there is to know. Now we know why you were never <coughs> worried about Corypheus's calling. Yes. I have none of the wardens' abilities and none of their drawbacks. Still, I would have fought through the darkest pits of the deep roads like any true warden. See, I do There's believe that. Than being able to sense dark spawn. Warden Blackwall would have agreed. You helped Adamant's wardens. The wardens at Adamant listened to you. They saw you as one of their own. Perhaps it takes an outsider to show how much of yourself you've lost. I never understood the reality of being a warden. I only saw the ideal. I suppose I reminded them of something they'd forgotten. You have a lot of respect for the wardens. They take all men, from the most noble to the most despicable, and make them equals. I needed to believe something like that was possible. Why did Blackwall want to recruit you? He never told me. I don't know what he saw that day, besides some wreck starting a bar fight. <laughs> that night, I taught some village militia a painful lesson about harassing the tavern girl. Didn't know I had an audience. An act. I can see why the warden was impressed. You're assuming my intentions were noble. <laughs> Told the girl to keep the wine coming. She couldn't, not with those louts bothering her. Something had to be done. <laughs> we'll continue this another time. So can I ask him what I should call him now? Too many lives. I pray that it's over for good. It should be. How shall I refer to you? Rainier or Blackwall? I've gotten used to Blackwall. Perhaps we could treat it as less of a name and more of a title. Almost like Inquisitor. Reminds me of what I ought to be. Everyone needs something to aspire to. Exactly. I'm glad you understand. Nothing yeah, right I still... Perhaps in a bit. I still, I, I still respect Blackwall because I, I, I can tell there is a good man in there. He made a very bad decision, but he has tried to, uh, he has tried to uh, repay for it. So, right, okay. So we have a few options now, um, mainly on the inner circle side of things. Why don't we go back to Orle, um, Val, Val Royo specifically, and go and buy some things? For Cassandra, since I would like to get this done if possible. I don't know how Cassandra being in the party when I actually buy these things is gonna uh, is if if that's gonna make her notice, but you know, needs must. Ah, Inquisitor Meriden, very very good DLC about Meriden. I re I, I really enjoyed that. It was it was very well done. Right, so. Talk to a gardener about flowers. Uh, oh, and there's um, is the merchant here as well? Is 
is this the one? Oh. Uh. The most romantic candle in Thedas. How how do you even classify such a thing? My world is at risk, my it's the hell of a claim to make that. No doubt, Captain Tom Rainier. He wore the shield. Mm, that is concerning. Yes. Concerning. He's a butcher. Well, they are certainly not mincing their words. Yes, that's understandable. Right, this is where we get the flowers from. By the maker, it's the Inquisitor himself. Hello, hello. Would you care for a bouquet of flowers, your worship? The roses have been exceptional this season. You sell flowers? You sell flowers, I take it. Oh, I don't sell them so much as I grow them. All for the halls of the Winter Palace. Empress Céline does so love the pink daisies. They're quite difficult to cultivate. But I don't think they'd begrudge a few flowers for the Herald of Andraste. It can be our little secret. Yeah, let's get some flowers. I was looking for some flowers, in fact. Indeed. For what occasion, if I may ask? For a lady friend. Oh, no, simple wild flowers for you then. I have just a thing. I'll send them to Skyhold, in fact. Rare beauties your lady will adore. Why, thank you. It's always nice to get information from a, from an expert. Right, Cassandra? She she, she looks the most un, unladylike person ever in that, in that armor. It's honestly, like... It, <laughs> it, it could be fucking Colin under there, for all I know. Right, talk to a vendor in Redcliffe about poetry books. We can do that. Uh, Redcliffe? Yep, Redcliffe is over here. What's that? Oh, Valamar's over there. Right, so that's where we need to go for Varric as well. Cool. Well, let's go. We'll go to Redcliffe. Travel there. We will give Cassandra the ideal romance. We have we have put far too much time and effort into uh, to not go to not go the whole hog. I honestly generally didn't didn't think the Cassandra romance was going to happen. I kept on thinking I'm, I'm maffed something up. It was it was taking so long for anything to go to go on, <laughs> especially when I had the options to like to try and go in with Dorian or fucking Cullen. Christ. Okay, so we need to speak to a vendor in Redcliffe. There's one here. I'm guessing this is not the one we need to speak to. Doesn't look like it. Okay, just need to find the ideal one then. Oh. Widower? Thank you again, my friend. Oh yeah, you were. Uh... This vendor? Maybe. Who on earth? Oh, I can. There's a book to read here. I that didn't seem to do anything. Well, this is what Codex. Oh, Codex unlocked the Carter. Hold on a second. The castless dwarves of Osmar have, be, have a few prospects. Consigned to live in a crumbling ruin on the social and economic fringe of the mighty dwarven capital, and most result to begging, prostitution, or crime. Just as all rivers eventually join the sea, all castless who turn to crime eventually become part of the Carter. The hero of Ferelden decimates the ranks of this ancient gang while rallying the dwarves to join in the battle against the Archdemon. A female, yes, he, he did do that. Unable to recover the power they once had in Osmar, they turn their attention topside, using groups of surface-dwelling dwarves to smuggle weapons, lyrium, surface luxuries, people, and other goods between Osmar and human lands. Despite the flow of business, its members are still desperate and violent, with no strong leader to rein in, their, rein in their excesses. They have little sense of dwarven honor and freely break their word, double-cross allies, and re re renege on deals. Basically a bunch of bastards. Right, dwarven bookseller. Ah, you must be, the, you must be the one about the poetry, right? Visitor. That right? Wish I could sell you some books. Wish I could sell anyone some books. 
Cassandra is very fidgety right now, as you can see. She can't seem to sit still. Yes. No need to look at me so funny. Thought I'd come here to try my luck selling books and scholarly crap to all mages crowded hereabouts. Why does this guy sound like from New York? Up and vanished like a fart in a cavern. I'd go home if I just had any of my stock. What a mess. What happened to your books? So what happened exactly? Surfacers happened. It took all my coin for bribes just to find out the damn Templars ambushed my wagon before it got here. Thought I was bringing supplies to the robes. So it's out there, but who knows where. Any books of poetry in your wagon? <laughs> sure. Mages love that stuff. A fat lot of good it does me now. Find the Dwarven Booksellers Missing Caravan. Okay, so we so we actually have a, a, a quest to do here in to get this poetry. Okay, cool. Well, we'll travel to the Red Cliff Farms camp. And then we'll walk from there to this apparently ambushed caravan. Right, so we'll, we'll, we'll do that in the next episode, though. So thank you very much for watching, guys. I do hope you have enjoyed. If you have, then please like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I shall catch you all in the next episode of Dragon Age Inquisition. Hope you all have a lovely day. Thanks again. Bye-bye.